Hi, students. Say hi, Jake. <laughs> hi. <laughs> All right. So um, there were a couple of vocabulary words in the uh, document that I'm uploading for your project for the next two weeks. And I just want to go over those uh, with you really quickly. Um, so the first one is proportion. All right, proportion refers to the size, shape, and placement of objects in relation to the space they occupy. All right, so if you take a look at, all right, if you take a look at my favorite of the eight photographs that I took, right? I loved this, this one. Stuff? Okay, so in my plate designs, I change the proportion of things. For instance, this diamond is a little bit um, smaller than this diamond. <laughs> um, you know, these stripes have different thicknesses and different placements. This one I decided to just use small triangles, no large diamonds or anything like that at all. So I changed the proportion and the placement I'm of things. I'm your thing because I'm lighting them. Thank you. Like this oh, is... Thumbs up. This is good. This is great. This is middle, you know, and this is like... Not the best. And this is pretty good, this is middle. Oh, oh. Okay. This is um, not too good, and this is bad. Good deal. All right, let me finish this up with my students, this okay? Um, so you can change the proportion, right, of um, the different design elements that you find in the photographs that you take to create your four plate designs. Um, we can also talk about the word composition. That's the placement of elements on, you know, any given, um, on any given plane, right? So, you know, it's how you arrange those elements, all right? And proportion is sort of the size, um, shape, and placement of those. All right, the, the next um, vocab word is balance. All right. So balance uh, refers to the I can fact balance on one foot. The, Jake can balance on one foot, and um, balance refers to the fact that elements are given equal weight, equal weight from an imaginary line down the center of the piece. Okay. So there's three different types of balance. There's asymmetrical balance, which means it's exactly the same on either side. No, I'm sorry, that's hey. symmetrical. Yeah. <laughs> so there's symmetrical balance, I'm sorry. That's, 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 where, um, that's where the composition is exactly the same on either side, right? Okay, and then there's asymmetrical balance. Can you hop off please, bud? Um, and this is more a, a sample of asymmetrical balance. It's not the exact same on every side. But it's still a balanced composition in the sense that there's darker colors over here, which weight it down a little bit more. There's lighter colors in the background here. It still works. It's still, um, it still looks good and it still looks balanced. It's not like you look at the, at the composition and you're like, oh, there's nothing going on over here and there's everything going on over here. That's not asymmetrical balance, right? Asymmetrical balance is when it's not the same on either side, but it still um, looks full and it looks done. It looks complete. All right. Symmetrical is the exact same. So symmetrical is the exact same. That's right, son. Asymmetrical is when they're different. And then there's also something called radial symmetry. All right. And we work with um, that notion in when we're making mandalas. And that's no matter which way you turn your composition um, in a circular way, the composition remains the same all the way around. That's radial balance. All right. Um, and then the last vocab word is... Um, is the rule of thirds, all right? And this is a very famous artistic um, theory, notion, um, strategy that's used um, in all different kinds of artwork, from photography to sculpture to drawing and painting. But what it basically means is that you can section out your composition or your canvas into three different sections and create um, a little bit more of an interesting, um, okay, sweetie. Create a little bit more of an interesting, dynamic, um, visual experience opposed to just having it in the middle. So here's an example. So uh -huh. this, way, hold on, okay, Jake, let me finish you this. May, you may be one out of for your phone. This here. would be symmetrical balance, all right? This is asymmetrical balance, and this is also utilizing the rule of thirds, because if you were to split up this composition into three sections, you'll see 
if I could do it this way a little bit more, this is going to be in, the th in, um, in one third of the piece. And then a different design is in the other two thirds of the piece. All right, Please, rule I'm of thirds. About this. Can you I can also something? do it. Um, can you hop off the blanket, Jake? So I can can you get a detail? Can I take one picture Yep, in just a minute. This would also be rule of thirds. It's at the top. Okay, so I can explain that a lot better probably, but um, there is a link in the. Um, there's a link in the document um, that will also help you understand those things. And these are just some ideas to help you make some really groovy plate designs. Okay. All right, Jake, you want to say goodbye? Um, no, the thing I wanted to say is if you think that was confusing, then make, 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 so, so, so to like my Instagram, there's a 20,000. Okay. Thanks, guys.